I mean, I've been talking at length to senior Syrian government officials about this uh, over the past, and they've always been adamant that they are not the ones who were using chemical agents on the front line in Syria. They, of course, said they were the first ones who actually took this to the United Nations when they claimed a couple of months ago uh, that it was uh, the rebels who had used chemical agents in a town called Khan al-Assal, which is right outside of Aleppo. Of course, at that point in time, there was a lot of very hot, very heavy fighting going on around Aleppo. But you're also absolutely right. One of the things that they also said uh, all the time was that they would not allow U.N. investigators into the, com into the country and give them blanket authorities to check out any site that they wanted. All they wanted checked out was that one specific incident and nothing else. So they've not let the inspectors into the country, but they are adamant that they didn't use the weapons. But certainly they are going to be very, very concerned uh, if the United States gets more involved in this conflict, especially with the way things are going for them right now. Because I can tell you from having been in Damascus and on the front line in Damascus as well, right now the Syrian military feels it's in the driver's seat making big progress. And certainly U.S. involvement is something that could squash that in an instant. Uh, um Yes, and we'll wait and see exactly what the U.S. means when it talks about it's going to broaden its scope. Of course, there are uh, differences of opinion in the United States what that should be and how that uh, should look. But certainly, as far as the uh, the advances they feel like they're making, uh, Fred, is is that due in, in in much part to the assistance they are getting from Hezbollah? Hezbollah is certainly a major factor in that. I mean. There are, by some accounts, up to 5,000 Hezbollah fighters fighting alongside the Syrian army. But that's not just to bolster manpower. They are also a formidable fighting force that's well-versed in urban combat, which is, of course, what's going on in many Syrian towns right now. But it's also because the Syrian military has changed its strategy and is focusing more on these big battles. But certainly they would be very concerned about anything, including uh, advanced anti-tank weapons delivered to the rebels and, of course, especially anti-aircraft weapons if, in fact, the U.S. were to decide something like that.